The havoc unleashed by the wind and the waves stretches along White Rock Beach. Shocked, onlookers take it in, in disbelief. Not that long ago, my family was walking on that pier, and just to see this, this is the kind of stuff you see in hurricanes in the, in the States, but to see it up here, it, it really to see it is unbelievable. At the height of the storm, when the pier broke because of the boats crashing against it, Oren Perry got trapped on the other side. I wandered off. Unfortunately, I should have stuck with the group. Next thing I know, I'm by myself, and the pier actually uh, was missing. So I realize um, this is more exciting than I, than I wanted. And uh, as people on shore are watching me, they're like, oh, I'm the, I'm the idiot on the pier now. That chunk of pier that broke off in the wind and the waves washed right up here on the beach. This is it. I'm standing on it. The wind also downed trees all throughout the region. This one fell in Samantha Dobbins' backyard. It, uh, it was pretty crazy, yeah. Today, Dobbins' seven-year-old son Sawyer is at home because there isn't any power at his school. They said legally they couldn't have them at the school anymore because it had been out since noon yesterday. Um, and then this morning they had just closed down. All the halls were uh, pretty black. <laughs> Some residents are just jumping in to get a head start on the cleanup. Um, yeah, I live here. I just live up the hill. I mean, I saw most of the stuff happen last night. Um, so I wanted to come down and clean up the beach as much as I can. I use it just as like everyone else does. It'll likely take several months and millions of dollars cool. to repair the damage caused in just a few short hours. Chris O'Neill Yates, CBC News, White Rock, British Columbia.